we are at Cranesville Books for the first ever Midwest Literary Walk, organized by Mr. M. L. Liebler, the Chelsea District Library's artist and resident. And it just so happens that we have M. L. successors right next to him, Nancy Seligman and Celine Paradina, who will be the uh, next artist and residents at the Chelsea District Library. So. Let me start uh, with you, ML. We're uh, kind of asking everyone today, yeah. since this is a literary-themed sure. event, who your favorite art, uh, poet or writer is and why. Nancy and Celine. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't think good. of two yeah. better uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, writers. Well, I actually, I, I just read with uh, one of my favorite writers in uh, Philadelphia with W.D. Earhart, a Vietnam vet uh, poet and writer of note. And Maria Maziati Gillen, who we're going to have here, I'm getting this on tape. Really? We're going to have her here, see, Bill? They're already swooning. Uh, at the end of my, my residency, uh, we'll have a send off program with Maria to do a workshop and a little reading. She's edited an anthology. Oh, yeah, yeah, she has. Uh, on America and identity. And, yeah, yeah. And are you part Edition, of this? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, let's cut that from the tape. But. but anyway, so Nancy and Salim, uh, and Salim's an old friend of mine, are going to. Uh, be the artist in residence for 2009 2010. Yes. So that's going to be exciting, and, and I think the energy of the programming will just keep escalating and be great. Well, ML, we just want to thank you for the wonderful job you've done in your tenure with us. Oh, it's been, it's been great. Thank you. Okay, so let me ask that question of you guys. Uh, Nancy, let's start with you. Who Do you have a favorite writer or poet? It depends upon the day. Honestly, I don't mean to be cliche, but mm. really. Um, that's true. I love Barbara King so much. Um, and who else do I love? I love I love uh, Fitzgerald and Steinbeck and, and Faulkner and Hemingway, but I absolutely love contemporary fiction. Even people like Jodi Pico is considered to be, oh, is she really fiction? Is she really literary mm -hmm. fiction, or is she not? So um, I I just it just depends. Can't commit to one, Bill. Sorry. That's fine. How about you, Celine? Uh, oh, I have such a array of poets in my head, you know, at the moment. Remind them um, of the poet you turned me on to, the famous poet, uh, Nizam Ezekiel. Nizam Ezekiel, yes. Uh, he is uh, considered the father of, you know, Indian poetry in English. He was my mentor and an exquisite poet, really. But, uh, you know, since I teach uh, non-Western world literature, a lot of my favorites tend to come from those uh, countries. Um, Nazim Hikmat uh, is, a, is a poet I love dearly, uh, not only because he's so political and socially conscious, uh, but his poetry uh, doesn't reek of politics. It's, it's simply so heartwarming and heart-wrenching at the same time. And then a uh, Greek poet, C.P. Kavafi, it's something I uh, was really turned on to by uh, one of my professors in Bombay. So I still read him with, uh, with great pleasure. I could reel off a whole bunch of other names. Yeah, well, thank you. You're in and good hands for 2009, 2010. And ML, sure. you've really set the bar high for, for these two, but we're yeah. looking forward to see what Nancy and Salim have in store for us for 2009 and 2010. It'll be great. Thanks for coming out today. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Well.